Alrighty guys, there's Betsy. You can see how glossy she is because you can see my reflection, obviously. So yep, we did a gloss black and we are going to do white decals for our logo and stuff. So she came out really, really nice. Really clean. Wow. Yeah, so I won't show you guys the inside because everything got taken out before we sent her off to get painted and she pretty much looks the same except for some stuff that had got um, installed after the last video I did. So obviously I'll do an updated tour, but I just, I wanted to show you guys the paint job, so. Super excited. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Rosina. Um, I am recording from my iPhone in the comfort of my own bedroom. So I um, apologize if it doesn't look like a professional setting. I am the creator of Live Thrive Dye Company and now I am opening up a mobile coffee truck with my fiance called Batchy Brew. We are from the Connecticut area, um, specifically Torrington, Connecticut. So if you haven't watched this channel before, Live Thrive Dye Company is a clothing line that I created about three years ago and I still have it. I just, I haven't came out with anything new recently just because I've been so focused on the coffee truck, but I've just put so much time and money into Live Thrive Dye Company that I wouldn't want to give it up and I just feel as if my basic t-shirts and sweatshirts and all that good stuff are staple items that I will carry around for a while so I just don't feel the need to release anything new yet and if I do release something new I just want to make sure it's just like one big launch and I mean things could change but honestly all of it right now is just more of like a financial thing because with the pandemic going on and by the title of this video. <laughs> um, I am quitting my job, um, the job that I have been at for the past six years, the job that has shaped me, the job that has done so much more for me than college will ever do <laughs> in my life. And we have definitely invested a lot of money and time into this truck and it's still a work in progress and we still got more things we have to get for the truck, um, but we are waiting to do our health inspection and that's basically one of the last things that is holding us back from being up and running and open and serving coffee to you guys. I had spoke to the health inspector yesterday and we're pretty much good to go to have our health inspection but Ryan wants to make sure that the truck is like mainly done and like I don't really blame him. Um, because I mean just get everything done and over with but like my thing is I just I just want to have that safety net of like okay we have our food permit so like we're good to sell whenever we're you know ready Ryan has never owned a business on his own so I mean he's definitely learning new things along the way and you know he has his own way of like wanting to do things too so um, <laughs> it's definitely been a lot of compromise with opening up a business with my significant other. We're doing it for our family at the end of the day and to make sure that, you know, we have a good future ahead of us and both of us are, you know, coming up with new things and being very creative with this truck. So I've been feeling bad that I haven't really been hands-on, but I have to do my part and I do a lot of the paperwork, like behind the scenes and taking care of the kids and working at my job. And then Ryan obviously does a lot of like the physical manual work and with the help of his friends and family, he's basically been building the truck. Like literally we've ripped this truck apart 
and started with a clean slate and we're creating something new of it. So it's definitely interesting seeing where things have been going. Like I said, I want to be as open with you guys as possible of our build and if you guys have any questions of like um, how we did things or so on and so forth, like I will try my best to answer it for you guys. I'm all about like supporting people and seeing people open up new businesses so it's always nice to help one another for sure especially during these tough times and in this pandemic as i said in my instagram story if you guys follow me on there i do tend to update instagram a lot more than i do youtube or anything else we have a few more interior things that have to get done and like I said in my story, Ryan did an amazing job installing these stick-on subway tiles that we uh, bought from Amazon because I've always wanted like a subway tile look but I just know it can get really expensive depending on like the labor and material and who you work with so we just decided to go with this stick-on subway tile and honestly I think it looks great. It's claimed to be like waterproof and like heat proof and all that stuff so we'll see how it holds up in the truck because we're dealing with both of those from like the brewers and the espresso machine and like just you know milk and water and such and ice so we'll definitely see how the subway tile holds up. We have to get the equipment mounted onto the countertop because if we don't um, especially the coffee grinder and the coffee brewer, those things will tip over if we don't mount them onto the countertop when we're driving the truck to whatever location we have to be at. I know this because I had to stand in the truck one day when we had to move the truck and I had to hold the equipment down. So we have to do that. And then I just ordered some new syrups that I'm excited for you guys to try. Um, I am about to order some sugar-free syrups because I know there's some like keto people out there that are going to be in the area and would like to try our coffee. So I just want to make sure like we try to hit like all markets if possible and we have to be very mindful of what we offer just because there's not a lot of space on the truck. So I'm going to try my best to like accommodate whoever comes and visits us on the truck because like truly I would love the coffee truck to be like a normal stop for people throughout the week like i know location isn't really like definite right now but like we do have some places in mind that we are going to park and see how like things go but um i would like to have like a set schedule and like place and time that we'll be at each day we're not going to do delivery right off the bat but um so once we like have our grand opening and like get a little flow going um, we will eventually offer delivery for coffees because especially me being a twin mom I know what it's like not being able to get out of the house and not being able to or have the energy to pack up kids just to go get a coffee so um, I totally understand the whole like delivery is like a huge factor for like moms and then like also like if off people in the office or you know people who can't leave their job need a coffee like we could deliver right to the doorstep um, so I'm still working on the features for that we are using square for our POS system so I'm still kind of like messing around with everything and like our prices and stuff but um, I have a pretty good idea of like what's going on so yeah so that's pretty much it on the truck unless I can like think of anything else but yeah my personal life quitting my job like I said um, I've been at this job for six years it's the same family restaurant um, I am leaving on good terms I have a very supportive boss and he's all for like you know education and like learning new things and you know creating your own thing so that's what he did he created his own restaurant and now here he is I don't even I don't even remember how many years honestly he's been in business but it's been a long time so it's nice to have like a mentor I've definitely learned a lot from this job I have made good money from this job I got my first apartment I got my first brand new car I met Ryan there I worked with twins there I I've met some amazing people there 
and I would not trade it for the world but it's definitely time for me to move on. I'm definitely kind of like checked out and just ready to do my own thing and start a new chapter in my life. Um, obviously I'll be back to visit that place and hint it might be one of the stops that the coffee truck will be at one of the days of the week so just keep that in mind um, if you know where I work. So I will talk to you guys soon. Um, again, follow Batchy Brew on all the social media um, if you want to keep up with when we're going to be open, and I will talk to you guys soon.